Okay, not that I'll ever get this finished past here, but this is something I'm making for you. And uh, it's a walking stick. I've got special plans for it. And uh, so I don't know if I'll ever get it finished. But uh, just for that little bit right there, it's already taken me two hours because my hands are getting kind of bad. So I've got to take breaks. But it'll be a walking stick. I got something special planned for the top. But uh, yeah. If I get it finished, I'll put all these little clips because I'm going to take stage pictures and short videos. And oh, that? That was bought for Charles by the young lady that's his counselor. Uh, he gets to play with it when it's he's really good. So, but my little itty bitty work area, trying to work on something for, just for you. So, till the next segment, see ya. Okay, Pastor, we're back. So I thought I'd give you another look at it. Zoom in a little bit. So that's after a couple more hours of sanding all by hand. Because uh, I don't have any power tools, so it is what it is. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a piece of resin up here with something special inside it. Now I'm going to make all these cracks, which there's cracks on this side. Uh, right here, and then there's a crack on the other side over here. What I'm going to make it look is like there's water running down here. And once you see what I put on the top, I think you'll understand what I'm talking about. So there's this part. So hopefully we'll get some more done later. Well, this is what we've got so far. I had to make a kind of a stand to keep it elevated. So when I put the resin on it, it doesn't go anywhere. I mean, it'll go to the there but I won't get it on my floor or my workbench or none of that stuff. I'll put some plastic over it but uh, that's where we're at so far. I gotta go over it with some 220 yet and then hopefully get some uh, resin to start coating it and covering it and I've changed the color it's not gonna be water it's gonna be red and uh, I'll give you a heads up you'll, you'll see when it's done but I'm gonna put the Inside the resin globe is going to be a small mini cross, and it's going to the red's going to symbolize the blood that Jesus shed for us. At least that's my interpretation of it. And, uh, Lord willing, it'll turn out great. So, see you next clip. Okay, next little part. I went ahead and stained it a little bit. I don't know how well it's going to show up on the camera, but uh, it's got more of a cherry color to it now. Just thought I'd show a little bit more progress. It's now been a week since I started this, but uh, some things just take more time than others. So, and uh, well, we'll see you at the next part. Okay, take two. Last battery died. So let's try this again. So I've got the red on. Let's see if we can get a camera's not really doing it much justice at the moment. up in here not, not much but that's the red epoxy resin so if I can get around the other side here cut myself with my wood and there's hold on here as you can see there's more there I think if I can get it sanded out the way I want it to, and good Lord willing, it will work just the way I envision it, it will look pretty good when it's all said and done. So, that's this update. Catch you next one. Okay, we're outside now. So as you can see, I left kind of a pink mess everywhere. I was blessed enough to get a hold of a palm sander. You have to mind the traffic in the background. Let's see if I can get this down here where you can see it. My uh, standing job didn't go as deep as I'd hoped it did. But uh, as you can see, well, if I can get this up here, this will be the top where the cross will sit. Then as you spin it, of course it's not very clear right now because I just got done sanding it. 
which my hands hurt kind of bad, but you'll be able to see the blood trail in different spots all the way around. It'll show up a lot better once I finish getting it sanded and then cast in resin, three layers. But uh, I think it's turning out okay. See you in a clip. Okay, here's another part. And camera quite doesn't cut it justice yet, but it's getting there. This is the first coat of resin on it. Sorry for the rest of the mess. But I think it's turning out the way I envisioned. This has still got a cure for four hours before I can go over and lightly sand it again with 220 and go over to another coat of this and wait another four hours and coat it again, or sand it and then coat it again. So hopefully. Sorry, moving so much. My work area is tinier than yours. So, but uh, yeah, that's where we're at at the moment. First coat, gotta let it dry. See you after a while. Okay, this is after four coats. Camera really doesn't do much justice to it. But that's four coats. <coughs> Excuse me. I really shouldn't touch it yet, but I'm gonna try and spin it up here. So you can get a better look at some of the way it looks. So in and of itself, it's already decent. Like I say, at this end, I want to try and make a globe with cross in it out of uh, resin. And, uh, oops, can't even hang on to it. Here's a little cross I'm going to put on it, if it'll focus, it helps a little bit, and you know, maybe my idea is way wrong, and if it is, God forgive me, and then I'll have that at this end, so it doesn't mark anything up, of course, but uh, that's after four coats, now it's going to take probably another two weeks before it can be handled extensively and probably another two weeks after that before it's completely fully cured. This will take about 30 days to fully cure. But uh, that's what we got so far. Alright, camera's not going to do this very much justice right now because it's not finished. But This is the second staff I'm working on, walking stick. And, uh, now I'll go ahead and cut in a picture of the final product of the last staff. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, didn't take a video of the last one, so you just get a picture to see what it was. Um, again, that was made for a pastor. This one here is also being made for another pastor. And, uh, if you're curious, just ask what the blue symbolizes, and I'll post it in the comments below. And uh, sorry, I don't have access to all the fancy equipment I used to have. I just got a little old teeny Nikon camera now and yeah, my cell phone doesn't even take video so but uh, this is the middle of the stage it's not done obviously I've still got to finish coating it I'm going to try and darken the wood up just a little bit once the resin goes on the resin will darken it up that's one thing about resin it will darken the wood up a little bit so that's it if you want more info, comment below. I'll send you a message. Thanks.